damage. Um, Ebbs in control, making an appearance here. I actually had to fork out a few bucks to buy it, unfortunately. Um, not like the deck list, I just bought the cards that were pretty big. Uh, like Thoughtseize, Elspeth, and uh, it kind of stung me a little bit to buy those cards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of purchasing on these cards, but... Um, so it's, uh, I'm hoping to get a good match. I had a kind of a few weird matches back to back. I'm hoping to get a nice good match like Mono Red or something, something cool that you guys can see. So hopefully I can find something. I'm in a tournament practice lobby that you guys can see. So we'll see what we get. Hopefully it's something nice it's waiting for a player. But, um, oh, here we go. Burger, Burger, Burger King. Ah, oh, Burger. But uh, this deck plays pretty consistently. Yeah, I'll take this. I got a, I got an Abzan charm, and I'm on the draw. Look at that foil language. <laughs> so off first glance, oh, I forgot to get enchantment. Hate my sideboard. Um, green, white enchantments. Yikes. So the next turn I will drop a planes. Again, full art lands. Pretty serious. Yep, that's fine. So I'm still thinking green white something. So he still has two mana open. Wow, yeah, that's kind of a cool play. Um, but that'll die to languish, but that's a pretty good turn to play. Okay, now I could use something else here. But turn three, I will wait. If he gets that honored thing up pretty high, then I'll have to Abzan charm it. But I'm threatening right now with ultimate price. He only has four cards in his hand. He attacks here. He should attack. I don't do anything. I might even, if he does something, like, it's kind of cool to get in guys ahead to, like, tap your mana and be like, ah, I don't know, like, undo it. Thinking that, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, you're maybe you, that you have it, but you're just looking at it. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. I have a languish in my hand. Can't play it. Oh my god. Um, but next turn I do have a siege rhino. Or no, I have a language next turn. I'm an idiot. So I don't I don't even know if I'll cast this here. Like I'll let him attack, let him play his spells, and if it if his mana gorge will get above Evolutionary Leap. Okay. So is that a three three right now? I'm gonna have to exile this. Well, wait. I'll wait till he attacks. Make sure he does attack. I have to exile it. Like, <laughs> if he's got the pro, then he's got the pro. Okay. Oh, I was worried there for a second. Whoo! Okay. Now I'm just gonna drop a languish. He can't. Oh, he still. He can't still sack itself. I just don't know what else he has. No. I'll just. I'll drop the rhino here. I hit. I thought I hit green. Again, I wish I kind of had a better matchup. Like, a more potent deck, I guess, if you will. So this puts the game at even, and I have a Languish and a Tassiger in my hand, and three lands. Uh, I'm gonna go... Okay, that's fine. So, if he doesn't cast anything here... Y yes, I'm gonna attack. Or, I guess I'm gonna block. Please, please, please... Okay, yeah, this is a great language here. Well, ah, oh, son of a bitch. So the only thing that'll be left is a mana gorger. I 
And it has trample. Are you kidding me? Hostilities is better. Yeah. So he has one card in hand, second main. He didn't even use his ability. Wow, he didn't even use Evolutionary Leap. But that's fine. The next turn I got Languish and then Tasker. What did he gain? What happened? Oh, he gained a life from the thing that he played. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. He's at zero cards now. But he probably is going to attack for two. I'll play the Languish. He'll sack them both. Get more creatures. Still up here. I get the scrying lamp going. I only have one green source, but I kind of want to see what I'm drawing. Elspeth is the biggest draw here. Uh, I'm just going to do this. And I don't need abs and charm, because I have four of them. So now next turn I can just play this, activate Tasker, and keep getting cards back. Like... Yep, that makes sense. Okay, that's fine. You can get that. Oh, is this is the infinite combo that he has. Uh, it's like whenever you something something, he's gonna play it. Whenever one of them. Okay, so I just need to kill this thing. I think. I think it's like an infinite combo. I'm not 100% certain. So you take the two. Oh, I can just languish it. I got to languish, so yeah, that's even better. Um, do I attack? Yeah. If he double blocks, I kill the scale lord, and I just activate its ability. Yeah. Oh, I don't have two green to do it. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> now I can't languish. That's actually a pretty good play by him. I thought I had double green. Which I don't. Oh, now I can! <laughs> yep. Uh. Boom! So we're, I mean, this deck isn't bad. It's making me use all my threats here. But he only has that one card left. It's going to end with 4-4, four, four, I think. I got to see its ability when he plays it. Again, I'm just waiting for a, a Elspeth. Um, just something to get the clock on a little bit faster. Another Rhino would be nice. Got a lot of my controlling portions here, so... I'm just trying to do some stuff. Uh, yep. Good, 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 good. Not gonna do... I can get crazy here. Put him down to five. Say go. Now he's gonna play this thing. Which is fine. He's probably giving me end hostilities. Okay, so I'm gonna to kind of move a plus one counter and put a. So that's like this combo thing. He's a four four with zero cards in his hand. And turn. Yep. 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 Watch me put an Elspeth in there. Ooh, good. That's actually a pretty good play. He's gonna give me the. the I think the hostilities is probably the play here. Yeah, he, you probably should give me the hostilities because Siege Rhino is going to put a bigger clock on you. Yeah. 
I could just exile this. Yep, you sack it. That's fine. What do you get? Enduring Scare Lord, which I can live with. So I'll take that. So now, I got him on a pretty good clock here, I think. Yeah, I got, I got a little stumped on green there for a bit. Yes, it was a land too. So we put him at six, he's gonna play the Scare Lord. Um, uh, I'll attack. Then he'll probably block and then do the other thing. Yep, you play the Scare Lord. I just play this here. Just add the black. No. Attack. And if he blocks, that's fine. I'll trade. No blocks. Um. And then just play. Uh. No, because he's, he's just going to give me the carry tid. I don't really want the carry tid. Just put threats on the board. Two lethal threats. I think I got this game in the bag, yeah. That was pretty tough. Like, uh, I'm going to put this in here. That's a good one to have. Um, ultimate price? I think there's a lot of mono colors. Yeah, Valorous Stance is pretty big, too. I don't need Bio Blights. Um, I'm actually going to put Thoughts... I'll get rid of... Because he's going to put a lot of counters on his thing, so Valorous Stance would be pretty good here. Um, Flea Spain isn't the best, but it's not bad. Um, Feed the Clan, because it's more of an aggressive deck, it's not like a controlling where we're just going to go back and forth. Um, I will say another ultimate price. Tastic is good, Languish is good, Downfall is not bad. And I think only three Valorous Stance is good. And then, um, Corsair's not bad. Thoughtseize? Yeah, because he's got Evolutionary Leap, so I'll just get rid of one. But as you guys can see, I mean, it's it's pretty, uh, where it's just, you just draw everything. Like, no matter what you draw, you're looking good here. Like, I'm going to keep this hand. I'll scry, turn one. Hopefully you get a green source. Maybe taps is fine. And then next turn, Thoughtseize. Like... Yeah. Boom, I'll take another green source if I can. Uh, downfall's not bad either. I'll just get the things out of his hands that I don't like. This is probably an evolutionary leap. Hanger backs, fine. I will thought see that. Um... I didn't, okay, well, I didn't, I was just clicking, just click on the card, not, like, necessarily click it, but alright. So next turn, I'll leave, uh... I will do this just so I can threaten some blockers. Oops. And then next turn, oh, four. I might chump block this Rotwell Master, whatever this thing is. That's fine. So, oh, he played another one. I was like, I'll trade here. 
If he just attacks with that, I'll trade. Oh, he's not even gonna give me the option to. Um, Abzan Charm is a really good card to have here. So I will. I'll leave it back to block. I'm not in a rush here. I'm not gonna try to put a clock on him. So my my goal here. Okay, put it on the hanger back. I'm gonna downfall if he doesn't. If he puts them all on one of the big guys, the green guys, I'm gonna downfall it. If he puts it on the hanger back, I'm gonna abzan charm it so it doesn't trigger, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna not even give him a chance to. So now, yeah, see, like that's that's all I can do. Um, nope, still can't do anything. No, wait. Yeah, see, now this is where mana would be nice, because Elspeth can really just make this game go a lot longer than they want. Another one? That's fine. See, I'm not worried about it here, because eventually he's going to run out of threats. Like, he's got two cards, which is a scale lord, and I th think that's it. I hope he targeted both of them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's exile this. And he gets absolutely no value from that. Okay. I'll take the five. Nope. A little bit of a clock. There we go. Um. Swing here. I think he just hostilities. Oh, I suppose I probably shouldn't have done that, but all right. That's oh, shit. I should have monsterized him. Um, and then just have him as a blocker. Not the most value, but at this point, he's going to need to play creatures. Uh, I got Den Protector, which I can cast for three. Flip it up. Get value. Uh, can you play this skill? Oh, this is good. This is a card. But if I get Elspeth, then Elspeth is just going to drop bombs every turn. Because Elspeth can also minus and will kill everything that he has. Yeah, I might even just... So no land, but let's just cast this face down. I will block whatever he plays. Bring the Abzan charm back to no. Oh, I might just bring End Hostilities back. Actually, depends what he plays here. Um, but End Hostilities is probably coming back. Cast it. Reset the board again. Like this is where uh, Den Protector just makes no sense. But I'll block here. I'm not gonna go down to six. That's a little too low for me. But again, it's just constant threats. Like, okay, well, I, okay, now he just killed all my creatures. <laughs> he killed both my cell rolls and my hanger back. And one of them's exiles. Oh, well, now, oh, there goes that. Yep. So he'll do this. I'm actually, I'm not going to go down to two, I should say. Oh, he can make it unblockable. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Alright, well, there's that. I can't... That's pretty dumb. But I... I, I actually shouldn't have conceded. I thought, I thought that was game over. I thought he had a damn lethal on the board. Whatever. Um, I really shouldn't have done that. I'm an idiot. But we're good here. We should be able to outrace him. Not outrace him. Like, just... Get rid of, God, I can't even... I should have conceded there. I thought I had least I had so many options like a land. That's fine. It gets me uh I'll see what he plays. But he mulled a six, I think. No he didn't. No he didn't. A 
hope this is a Nissa. That would be a really good trade for me. One for one is Nissa. Um. Sure. But I put that display of dominance in there. What did he take? He just took two fours, right? Yeah, now I'm gonna ultimate price whatever he plays this next turn. I could use some white. I'm too white away from a Elspeth. Senior rooms on TV talking about her t her shirt. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this now. Oh, I'll wait. Okay. So I'm just gonna downfall this. I'll take the one one token out of it, like. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, and then I'll wait again. Cause again, if he's got a bunch of Valorous stances, they're just gonna kill all my creatures anyway. Okay. He plays Citadel Siege. Oh shh. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh man, I thought this had black or green, but whatever. Well I got it out of my hand. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God, that sucks. Why did you do this to me, world? Yeah. All right. So... I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna kill his thing now. God, what a joke. Well, hey, I thought that's a green. I don't know why I put it in. I thought it said green. Like I could get rid of his heart and scales. I'm also an idiot. So and I'm also just a big idiot. Big idiot. Uh, white swords. Oh, that'll work. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, you can't make it hexproof. So let's just do this. Kill that. So I even have a downfall as well. Like. So Advent Charm's not the worst draw here, actually. I'm okay with that. Because Valor Stance can't change anything. Play, um, play this. Oh, another hanger back? That's fine. So, Fiat 
targets, he's gonna have to target the big one. If he targets the small one, I'll exit. Well, I'll exit one whatever has more counters on it. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, uh, that's really good against hanger back. There's my second white. I will put that on the bottom, because I got my second white now. Now I'll yield a turn. Um, I declare blocks, and in response to him putting the counters on it. If he has indestructible, that's that's fine. I'm just taking a risk here. Like He's got two cards in hand. I know one of them's a, a forest. I think that he would have kept mana up, maybe, to, to stop that. But in response to that, I'm going to do this. Uh-huh. So now we're, we're playing pretty good here. Uh, don't need a carry, Tid. I know he's got flyers. He can try to take down Elspeth. Which he will be able to not kill, but I'll be able to get some value out of this. I emptied my hand out, took a little bit of a gamble. Now here's where I could use a languish would be pretty solid. So he's got one forest and this card. He's got a lot of mana. <laughs> that card. Whenever one or more. Okay, yeah. Now an end hostilities is even better. So he should be able to put... Why don't you put two on both? Okay. Oh, he still be able to kill it. I forgot he had the Darren Scar Lords. Scar Scar Lords. Yeah, he should, if you would have put him on both, because it's whenever I place on another creature, you could... It's up to two, right? Oh, no. Okay, I thought it was a distribute. That's fine. I'm going to kill all stuff. And now we just do... This... Again, just all the answers. Now I'm looking for another Elspeth or something else. I think that display of dominance kind of hurt me here. Yeah, another fucking scale lord. Okay, well, there's worse things. Still waiting for the hostilities. Languish. Languish is good here. So he puts me down to nine. Uh, Thoughtseize isn't good. So I'm just going to yield the turn. Not going to play a creature, just in case he's got something crazy. Oh, I lose. Yeah, I lose. He's got me. <laughs> that was a card away. Because then we're, then, we're, then we're both reset to nothing. How do you have two cards in his hand? Oh, three. I got you. I'll give me one more. Planes. And, uh, see, then I start to get gypped. All right, well... I think I'll play one more. You guys give you guys hopefully get a little bit more of a realistic matchup. He won that one. That was him. He earned that one. I think I misplayed a lot. Not sure why I played display of diamonds there. But display really, really hurt me. I'll keep. So I go turn one, sand step. No, I can go. No, see, yeah, I was like, I think I'm going to turn one slot to use into turn two, police main. But I can't. I need to play black and I need to play two different colors, so. If he thought sees is me, he just pays two to take my thought sees. Yeah, the thought sees is coming. Oh, wow. If he has a Thoughtseize, I'll let him have it. Like, I don't... Um... So, Mono Black... Uh, Whip is a little tough for me to deal with. Don't have a lot of enchantment. I don't have any Dromoko's commands in here. 
Downfall I'm fine with. Uh, Grey Merchant I'm not, because he can play it. I could die from it, and he can play it again. So, yep. So next turn is going to be the Spoiler of Souls. I'll play into Fleece Main. I'm just missing like a few cards here or there, you know? Can't block, so... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm good. Can't block, so. Eh, uh, no, I'm good. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that'll work. Too. That was a pretty quick tap man in there. <laughs> Perfect when you do it like that. You even hostilities next turn. You can't gray merchant me. Language would be real nice right now. Gray Merchant's me for six. Um, so you can, I can kill both of them, that's fine. I'll kill both if he wants. There we go. Then if things get hairy, I got a hostilities for backup. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. That's fine. Three damage is good. Bad. Trample's good here. See, I could attack with both then in hostilities, but I want to get some value. I gotta get another great merchant, I'm in trouble. Two, three. Oh. I'm okay with that. What is this one? Okay. Just only gonna attack with them. Hmm. <laughs> 
Downfall. <sighs> How do I want to play this? Whenever a huge card leaves an opponent's graveyard. So we won't be able to bring it back till next turn. Let's attack. Can I do both? No. Let's do. I'm gonna tag with both. And I'll just kill everybody. Yeah, make him think a little bit. Oh, he's gonna take it. That's good. Yep, that'll work. And I got a downfall for... That's pretty cool. So, what is he gonna do? Where's the spoiler of souls? I got two other creature cards from your graveyard. That's fine. Do it. I'll just play another one. So what is he getting rid of? Hmm. Earl Tarmac and Grey Merchant, that's good. To the battlefield's fine. So if he plays a Grey, I'll just downfall it. I get a second. Yeah, I don't know why he hasn't brought over Erebus Titans to his hand yet. Just leave me leave, he's got something good in his hand. If I could just kill it again. Um. I could let it resolve. Sure. Now this Herald shouldn't have, yeah. One card versus zero cards. The Advent Charm would be the best here. Oh, <laughs> that's good too. Now I need to do something. It'll be at one life. <laughs> Siege Rhino does it again. You can put the spoiler back out, but that's about it. I'm not gonna attack, because he'll like he'll have to get rid of his herald. Oh that's a thing. But yeah, you got it. It's a cool card. No blocks. Bob 
stoplight would be cool here. Ah. That'll work. No attacks, because he'll die. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so what's good here? Yeah, ultimate price is better, because I don't think he has any... Um, Arable's Titan. Uh, what's bad? Anything that's really bad here? Another downfall. Uh, oh, this isn't bad either, actually. And that's a little better than the Valor Stance. Let's do that. Mm, that's a little better. Let's see how many people we got here. One person. One person. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Oh, I think it's actually just me watching it. Warm, <laughs> What is he going to bring in? Downfall. I should have done this. I gotta fix the sideboard a little bit. A little more enchantment hate. Self inflicted wound. One. Yeah, I'll keep it on the draw. That's all right. <laughs> Two ultimate prices. Oh, that in the carry tin. Turn three. Who knows? Language is good here. <laughs> Interesting. Saw you, buddy. Land? Land? Eh, not really land. Not a chance for the old turn three rhino, though. Next turn. I'll block one of these two. Uh. I'll 
I'll double block here if you want. Another rhino next turn. Hmm. That sucks. Let him whip that back. <laughs> Definitely throw the great merchant under the bus. Yeah, 
Dead on the money. And take two. Oh man, that sucked. That sucked. to so and the thought season the plenty Bunch of downfalls. play the carry to but I really just want to start drawing some cards if he misses the land I'm good well, uh, I'm still solid but he just got a bunch of downfalls huh Kill it. And yield the turn. Go ahead. I'll take my life. Next turn. I'm not going to draw another land. Abzan Charm? Okay. Play land? Yep. It's a spoiler of souls? Yeah. Oh. I could actually exile that. Um, let's see. Actually, let's do this. And then I could, uh, say go. See what he plays. Ultimate price. And then next turn I have plenty of plays. Cause I could even get back a courser if I wanted to. Yeah. If he could blow all three of his Does he have two creatures in his graveyard? He does not. Um I'm okay with three. That's not what I'm worried about. You know that the ultimate price. Yeah, see that's why you wait. Yeah, get some value out of the ultimate price. That'll work. Land's going to the bottom, I feel like. Tasser is going to the top. Uh one, two, three, yeah. And 
and then that'll make his mana less effective next turn. Downfall, I downfall now. That way I can't block with carry to and then do other stuff. So here I take Courser. Play Courser at Task Figure next turn. Yeah, sure, discard a card. I didn't know it was actually like that. I would have took a Abzan Charm. But he can't play Erebus Titan this turn. If he can, I have Abzan Charm, so. More and more. What do you discard? Alright, so next turn I can go, what? One, two, three. I have three mana up. Yeah, I'm good here. And again, I still have hand hostilities for. So I'm going to draw a task again. Yep. Get some value out of it. Ooh, Thoughtseize is coming next. So yeah, he can Heroes Downfall that. That's fine. Because now it's just... I could stand still in hostilities. Oh, that's good. That's good value right there. We're gonna end this up, but I can still, uh... Look at that sequence. <laughs> Look at that sequence. You see some pretty cool sequences with, uh, Abzan, where you can start playing multiple spells per turn. So now, next turn, I... F if he plays one of his guys, I can... Abzan Charm. Titan. Okay. That's Did he play all four of his downfalls? One, two. No, he played the third one. So I'm gonna take six total here. Put me down to s uh, no. I think the has been charged. You don't want to. I don't want to go down to six for then. He's got two cards in his hand. Does he have two creatures in his graveyard? Uh, I'll just block next turn with Carrie with Tim. I don't need to keep it. Turn off. Ah, shoot. I wanted this. I was on thought seize there. But he should have the spoiler at the end of that turn, because then I would. He's got it. I'm actually. Then I'll. Just as long as your opponent can join it, is indestructible. Okay. Exile it that way, it's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna th thought these here. Sees. 
So I can hostilities put me down to one. I'll just do that, I guess. I, I can't keep it in my hand. Hopefully I can kind of sucker him out to play, uh... To play the Airbus Titan and then just say go. No, it's indestructible. But I wanted to... I'd rather be at four and then next turn... I can exile that thing and we can exile it again. Uh, no, because it costs four. Hmm. How many creatures does he have left? He's only got one left. Yeah, so I'm good here. Yep, he plays Erebus Titan here. Oh boy, that's a thing. Expected. I'm gonna need two removal spells here. <sighs> oh my god, am I lose two games with this? Heal the turn. I think he could still attack then. Titan. Oh yeah, so I'll put that in my sideboard. That's a good card. Yeah, you go Siege Rhino. I'm not looking for a Siege Rhino. I'm looking for a removal. <laughs> you can just tell. <laughs> yeah, I think he gets all four of them, doesn't he? I didn't play one this game. Wow. <sighs> he can't play Airbus Titan yet. That's really weird. This game should have been over. He should have. Oh. I'm gonna exile it and then destroy. Make sure I choose the right mode. There we go. Oh, well, another turn. Well, there's actually another two turns here because I get the end hostilities next turn. Spoilers back though. No, I exiled it. Oh, you can bring the other one back though, I think. He can't. <laughs> He's gotta play Airbus Titan here. And if I can draw like a, a creature. Yep. You can get three for three mana there. Can't do it. Ugh. Some games. We did good there, I guess. Oh, it sucks. You know